Good evening, this is Donna with Magical Workings, and I'm here to do a spirit guide reading for Sarah. Sarah, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this reading for you. Um, before I turned on the camera today, I took a few minutes to um, just hold sacred space for this, um, this reading. I called in my guides and your guides so that I may be a clear channel and deliver you to you the accurate information um, coming from your guides. And um, I get messages through visions, through sound, through knowing. I use all of my clear senses to do this reading. And during the beginning of this reading in my meditation, um, I was given a vision of your guide and your guide that came to me, he is an older man. He is balding. Um, he has a few, few wrinkles on his forehead, but he's darker in skin. And uh, he has bushy brows. He's a very, very kind smile. And what he showed me, though I didn't see faces, um, he took your hand and placed it in someone else's hand, and to me this is companionship or um, that you're not on your journey alone. And I also saw visions of feet walking down a pebbled path. Um, so this shows me again a journey or travel. I was given um, a vision of a spear being held by many hands together as well. So what I get from this is, and I feel that your guide is showing me that he's telling me touching many lives, um, that you're not on your, your path alone. So um, that's what came to me through, through this um, meditation. And uh, sometimes I get names at this time I haven't. Sometimes the name will come up later in the reading. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take the cards and begin to shuffle. I shuffle until I feel an energy shift. And um, this is a six card reading. And you've provided me um, with your own question for your guides as well. So thank you for that. So I'm just going to shuffle. Right now the energy feels fairly even and good, so I'm just going to do about three times as long as that stays that way. And so far, one, two, one last time here. And today I'm using um, Psychic Tarot by John Holland. It's a beautiful deck. It's one that I really feel connected to. I'm going to cut the deck here and we're going to pull the first card. The first card answers, who is my spirit guide? So I'll go ahead and connect with your guide once again. Um, taking in a deep breath and exhaling. Inviting your guide to come be with me through this reading so that I may deliver an accurate message to you. Um, we can better give you a clearer understanding of who your guide is. The card drawn is light. And I did get a name. The name that came to me is Hamish. And He tells me that this is your time to shine, that he is the, he says he is the light in your life and he says brilliance, um, understanding, also tranquility. 
clear guidance. He also says be free. So your guide is an older gentleman. He is bald and darker of skin with bushy eyebrows and his name is Hamish. And he says that he is the light. Um, so to me, the, what I intuitively feel here is that he is guiding you in the right direction and that he is helping you to see and gain a clear understanding of your path. So the second card is why are you with me at this time? And the card that I pulled is discontent and boredom. And he tells me that you're unsure of your path at this time. That um, at one time you were sure that this is what you wanted to do with your life and that you were headed in the right direction. But he says it's time for a shift. And he's here to help you see the, the path and illuminate that the right path for you that um, you may be headed in the right direction with what you're doing in life, but a shift needs to happen. And then you're going to be at peace with everything and it will all fall into place for you. I'm just asking if there's anything more with this card. And he says that you will find contentment. That, that you will find what you're looking for. The third card is, what do you want me to know? And this is, this card is destiny. And it tells me that you're on, on the right path, that you still have free will to choose what you want to do but you're headed in the right direction, that we all have a, a soul purpose, our, our life path that we've chosen before we've inhabited our bodies here on earth. And it's a contract that we've signed with our ascended masters, um, our guides, our guardians, to, to learn our lessons in life and to fulfill um, the quest that we set out for ourselves in, in the beginning. And this card tells me that you you are headed towards that destiny and uh, you're on track. The, those are the words that come to me. The next card is, what is the best way to connect with you? When a card comes up upside down, it just means to um, pay a little closer attention to it. I don't read reverse meanings. It just means that this message is very important. And the message is passion ignited. And it tells me that you have to have the desire to connect with your guide. You need that passion and to put yourself into it. Um, if you try to contact your guide half-heartedly, you need to come from heart center um, when speaking to your guide and all you need to do is ask. Be passionate about what you're asking for and what your needs are and your guide is going to be there to help you fulfill them. You have more than one guide and Hamish is coming through at this time. He says that yes, you have a multitude of guides and that they're all there to um, assist you and with whatever you need. You can call upon them any time. Um, I'm just asking for clarity on the best way to uh, connect. And what I, the vision I get is of you, you kneeling by water and looking into a reflection or looking at the reflection from the water. 
Um, so scrying may be a wonderful way to try to connect. Um, using your own intuition that these messages will come through for you. And again, all you need to do is, is ask. Ask for their assistance. Um, for any need. This is what Hamish says. Now the next card represents your personal question. And you asked, am I on the right career path? So the card I've drawn is positive movement forward. And yes, you are. Hamish does confirm that you are on the right path, but he also says a shift that your career will change in some way, that you're headed in the right direction, you know what you want to do, but he says it will be molded differently. Um, so the other message that I get is pebbles in the sand. I, I'm not sure if this means anything to you. Um, sometimes messages that come through are not meant for me and they may not mean much sense to you right now but they will make sense later on down the road um, so he, he says it will be molded into something different and pay attention to pebbles in the sand um, but yes the, the answer to your question is yes you are on you are headed in the right direction um, the end result may not be exactly what you have envisioned currently, but but you're you're headed towards your destiny uh, and that life purpose that you've set out for yourself. So the last card that I'm pulling represents the outcome and overview or any additional information that your guides have to share with you. And the card drawn Again, this one was reversed, so pay close attention. Is power. And your guides tell me, or Hamish says, that you are more powerful than you think. You have, a, you have much more inner strength than you give yourself courage. Or, this is, yes, courage came through. Sorry, sometimes words get um, jumbled as spirit speaks through us. But you have... Um, Okay, he says courage. He says take the courage to move forward. So, he also says have courage to change. So you, you, you have, you have the ability to create whatever destiny that you see fit for yourself. But um, when you are on your, your soul's path and, and you are headed down that right direction, everything will fall into place. You'll know that it's right. Listen to your own intuition. And he says, embrace your own power. Um, he says, feminine power. So don't give that away to anyone else. And he reminds me also, he says, you're not in this alone. There's someone else with you. Um, yes, I, I, I know your guides are with you. But if you have a partner now, that, that person is supportive of you. If not, I feel that you're going to meet someone. Um, I'm just ask, I really feel drawn to pull an additional card for you. Um, just to clear this up because again as I said I saw him placing your hand in someone else's hand so I, I just want clarity on that and I don't want to leave you hanging wondering about it so I'm just going to ask for additional clarity on um, the joining of hands or um, not being alone and again uh, it was reversed so pay close attention this is emotional withdrawal and this is 
don't let go of others. Um, sometimes it's necessary to break apart from those who bring us down. But surround yourself with supportive people. Um, he says, don't do this on your own. But that you need support. Those are that. That's what comes to me for this reading. Um, I want to thank Hamish for being with us. I want to thank my guides for letting me be be here and be a clear channel. And I want to thank you once again for giving me the opportunity to do this reading for you. Um, I hope that it brings the guidance and um, clarity that you seek. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. And thank you once again for visiting my Etsy shop and purchasing this reading. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.